Greetings, this is Carmen from FuturePrint in Regina, Saskatchewan. We are full service printers with a long history of customer service excellence. Enjoy our latest video in our Carmen's Corner video series on everything printing. We're all very curious when we go by a new building or a construction site and we wonder what's going up there, who's moving in there, what's going on? And we're going to talk today about construction site signs. This could be the project name, it could be a grand opening, it could be the name of the contractor to identify who's doing it at a contact information. It could be for the muster point, for example. Very often is the safety rules. You need hard hats, safety shoes, and those type of things. Uh, often you will see these on the fence of the building. It can be a chain link fence or temporary type fence, and you would see signage attached to that. We're going to highlight four different materials today that are very well suited for a construction site. The first one is a banner material. It's a vinyl type material. It has grommets in the corner to put screws or nails into or to wire to a fence. Hemmed on the edges so it's nice and tough. And there's actually little strings in the center of the material going both ways. And it's very durable and great. In Saskatchewan winds, these easily last a year if they're fastened securely. Other than that, you can go with a little bit better materials. So the first one is a banner, often used on fences. Second material is similar. This is called mesh banner. If you look at it closely, there's little holes in the mesh and that's easy for the wind to blow through because our winds are so substantial here and it'll last just a little bit longer. Disadvantage is you can't see the image as strong because of little holes in it. So that's a second material called mesh banner. Third material I like to uh, recommend is called coroplast. It commonly looks like cardboard, corrugated cardboard. We can see it on the edge here. However, it's made of white plastic and it comes in other colors too. Very durable, it's an actual plastic. I've seen these last up to 20 years. They don't, they don't look too good after 20 years, but they do last up to 20 years. It has a vinyl on the front that we usually do and lasts quite a long time. The company guarantees the ink for three years, and if you laminate it, you put an extra coating on it, it's guaranteed for five years. So they're very good, and often the building is done before the signs wear out. And the fourth option is kind of my favorite material, it's called dye bond. Composite in the center, it's about an eighth of an inch thick. It has aluminum skin on both outsides, so it's very smooth, and then it's painted white. It comes with a protective material. We just peel off and we can put the sign right to it. It's clean, very, very nice. Easy to drill some holes in and put onto a construction site. Uh, it doesn't warp, it's just fantastic material. It's not that thick, it's nice and stiff. However, good to put a backing of plywood or something on it. Uh, this is the most weather resistant. Of course, going down, this is probably the most expensive of the four also. Our little tip today is, when you do hang them up on a fence, make sure you use wire. Take a good old fashioned wire and a pair of pliers and hang it up on the fence with wire, as opposed to the pull ties. Pull ties are fast and fantastic. However, about one month and our Saskatchewan weather will have them completely depleted and gone. And often you'll see signs hanging from a fence and that's the reason. They put it up with pull ties. There is some better ones out there. If you insist on pull ties, do spend the extra money for the ultraviolet ones and the extra thick ones. Thanks, see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this or any of our videos, contact us today. Or if you'd like to discuss your printing needs, we'd love to hear from you. Find our details online at futureprint.ca.